All right, we're back. We're playing Super Auto Pets on Twitch. I got to be honest, like, just get ready, all right? Because, like, for I am running the casino. I'm just letting you know, I legitimately take rabbit, swan, skunk every game. Every game. So I don't want you to bet doubt, and then if you lose, which I can't guarantee, be like, hey... I thought you were going to run, you know, some kind of shitty, like, hedgehog gorilla build. Nope. You're never going to see it. Anyway, arena mode. I don't even know if we're on free to play, pay to win. Could be anything right now. You know, I'm something of a memer myself. Hey, thank you. Truffle for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I'll be the bear sausages if you don't mind. This one's for you. I'm not going to actually make this one for you because legitimately we stand no mathematical chance of winning this game, I think. Holy crap, we drew. That's that's stunning. You can definitely fit a mosquito here. I'll buy an otter. We knew that was likely. Put the two ants at the front. Otter's going to be 2-3 next turn. Give them a B. Now we got something going on. We can't get rid of this ant, though. What is this team? Dr. Fetus? There's no music? Yeah, there's definitely music. I can see it on the mixer here. There wasn't for a little bit, for like five seconds. But for that five seconds of, of muted game sound, there's been like two minutes of where's the audio. I get, you know what? Any mobile viewers in chat? I look forward to your chat messages of M space E at sign in 45 seconds. Okay. Drop this in here. Little snail. That's an insult to me. That's an insult. But I'll take this. That's what we like to see. Roll me. We have to, in this situation, you got to take something that generates stats. Elephant generates stats. This is not a meme. Genuinely, this is not a meme. The hedgehog itself is actually just good. It, it may be not so good if you go like, you know, full like heavy metal mode. You take like two hedgehogs and uh, as, as requested here, two hedgehogs and a, uh, you know, a blowfish, but one hedgehog for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a meme like the Snuggie. Don't get confused. <clears throat> This is a tough one. I think we say no to a badger for the moment, believe it or not. I actually think we, we make a hedgehog a little bit stronger. We may or may not level it up. I, I can't speak to that yet. All that's left is the gorilla. Well, we're going to be waiting a while. Nice sheep. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, now you got to win. Otherwise, the hubris is too much. Okay, we draw. We'll draw. We'll draw. We'll draw. Legit, we can't hear the game music. Legit, there's no music in the game. Except at the, the title screen. This isn't res. There's no Super Auto Pets vibrator that you can buy on PlayAsia.com. You gotta use your imagination. Okay, we're gonna make the ant a little bit better. We're gonna sell the elephant. We're going to purchase an ox for efficiency-based purposes. We got a turtle and a swan ready to go. We're looking for pills in our food shop on the next one. <clears throat> this is a great team on their side. We're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I mean, no, we're not in a lot of trouble. We're just going to lose. But that's okay. It was a good pivot. It was a good pivot. Even if it hurts us temporarily. I genuinely don't think we care for two turtles. I think you embrace that... We want a hedgehog to go. A turtle enters the squad. We look for a pill still. We got a pill. You add a swan to the squad. We freeze a pill. We could always pill our otter. Add another melon armor to the squad. You know what? You know what? I'm going sickle mode. I'm going sickle mode. I never should have smoked that shit. Now I'm going sicko mode. Now, I'll admit this would be a great time to have a hedgehog. 
Now, I, I don't think this episode has come out on the YouTube side yet, okay? But we're gonna lose this round. That's okay. As long as... We have a plan and some traction to get moving forwards. That's the only thing we care about. So for right now, I actually do not mind that we're losing because we have a great scaling engine in play. So first off, you take some... Basically, we're just giving you attack. We could pill you, but instead we're going to sell you because we're also going to do a buy pill right here. And I'm, this is how much I'm committed to this plan, okay? I'm going up a level on the mosquito. I don't care for a shark, though. Roll me. I think it's a little late for a kangaroo. I'm going to I'm going to hope that on a roll like af after this whether we win or lose, I'm going to hope that we got a a better animal and and what would a better animal be in my head? Holy cow, we win these. Um hippo, rhino, a hippo. You shouldn't have. Hit me. Hit me. <clears throat> Place me. I'm not buying and selling a duck to give you one HP. I thought about it. It, it entered my, my sphere of influence. A little late for a rabbit, IMO. This is still a little spotty, but I think we got a good enough team with these melon armors. We could really use a... Um... Oh, that's, that's big. That's big right there. We could really use um, a skunk or a scaler. That's the next thing. A skunk or a scaler. Nope. The, the difference... I mean, that's a scaler, don't get me wrong. The difference between you and me... I believe. So I think for now... You know, you gotta be smart. As much as I like that this mosquito has melon armor, it's time <laughs> to maybe invest... We're not, I mean, we might get rid of an ox, so maybe freeze me for just a second here. <laughs> question mark, what's the question marks for? The hippo needs to be in the front. Mm, source, dude, don't trust me. Oh, because, no, because I'm buffing the ant. I'm happy to be buffing the ant, honestly. The ant has melon armor. We're working on different economies here. That is that is not an issue for me. I'm investing in the thing that has the melon armor right now. I don't care whether the hippo or ant gets the kills as long as the kills come to pass. People hitting me with three question marks with no context because I skipped a parrot. Honestly, like, you gotta, you're gotta, you not paying by the letter. That's just insanity. Now, I'm going to be real with you. It's a little late in my worldview. Even for a level two kangaroo. It's really skunk or scorpion. <laughs> now, this is a touch unusual. <laughs> but you always take turtle. This is where a skunk would have been quite advantageous. Hold on, I'm pogging. Okay. Nice question marks. Why no mammoth? Because uh, it's a dog shit animal that does nothing. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm exercising some demons here. The swan, with one life left, the swan is never getting to level three. So it's better not to invest. Give me some rerolls instead. We're now desperately looking on our next roll for one pill plus a good animal. No pill. Roll me. I know there were two cats. Freeze me. Buff me. I mean, this is the moment of truth. I'll be honest with you. I think this squad's pretty good. Now, we're going up against a squad that's got a certain goodness of its own. It's also got a heavy melon armor counter. But, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good. Wow, the doubters were so confident when they saw two data points. Now they have no data points. <laughs> oh, it felt good. Okay, so give me one of these. Oh no, my strategy! 
It's working! Now... Could use some faster scaling. Is there... You know what? We could always throw a snake in here. The snake is just good. The reason I take it so infrequently is more because of the fact that it's just kind of, like, boring to me. You piece, you piece, you piece. I mean, honestly, like... We barely made it, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, but we made it. But, uh, I mean, if uh, nothing will... It, it, literally, you know what you're doing. When you're a doubter and you're throwing question marks, question marks, question marks, you're just making me play stronger. You know? It's literally... Like, you're, you're short in AMC stock, and then you're going to see five movies a week. You're working against your own best interests. I've never been happier to pay out 73% of the audience. And then we'll run it back. Will and I'll get six wins or more. Honestly, the only thing that stopped that from being like a, an eight or a nine win game was losing so much early. If we didn't, if we didn't lose so much early, had a little bit more time to get that skunk popping off, like anything could have happened. Let me see one of these. I, I run anti-ant technology now. Bearded is new, man. There are presidents with a beard. Ulysses S. Grant. Many, many presidents in the uh, in the earlier eras. Has there been a president with a beard since 1900? Good question. Honestly, a good question. Camera two. <laughs> Abe Lincoln. You might want to work on your historical... Uh, Awareness. <laughs> Abe, Abe Lincoln got shot in the head in like 1865. Freeze me. This this is how you know I'm I'm going all in for the believers here. So he got better. Thanks to Ulysses S. Grant's tip. The police were able to arrive to the theater and save Abraham Lincoln from John Wilkes Booth. John Wilkes Booth was committed to a lunatic asylum. He was released in 2012. That's a reference to the start of the show, in case you weren't here. To the, to the, new, uh, the new ending for Fight Club. <laughs> oh, man. It gives me every time. That's great luck. I appreciate that. You know what? I'm a simple man here. This horse is not long for this world. I'm gonna let's get rid of the mosquito first. They're both gonna go, but I, I'll embrace that. They're they're both gonna go. They're not sticking around. Kansas is going bye bye. Hello. Yo, let's go. Yeah, yesterday when I was picking the baby up from daycare, I just wore a little jacket. When I was outside, I was like, it's freezing. Turns out. Um, I'm doing the thing that I do every year where it was cold in December and then we had like a double digit Celsius day in January and I was like, springtime, it's springtime now. I was see, uh, two days ago when it was, or maybe, maybe it was Saturday when it was like 11 degrees, I saw people outside in like tank tops and shorts and I was like, you gotta be out of your damn mind. And they were, like, doing the thing that everybody does when they don't dress right for the weather, myself included. They're like, it's not even that cold. Like, I know I have goosebumps and I'm visibly shivering, but actually, like, it's kind of nice. It's kind of, like, it's almost like the summertime. And like, it's January, like, 23rd or something like that. I've done it myself. I'm not going to deny it. Kate knows it. No, oh, I'm sure she'll be okay. Yeah, babies babies run a little warm too, I think. I did just make it up. That's true. That's pretty true. <laughs> hmm. So these are terrible shops. I'm just gonna level with you. These are not good shops. But losing this round, not that big of a deal, honestly. Dunker in the snow. Oh, we live in Vancouver. There's no snow anymore. It was here for a little bit. I, for longer than maybe I've ever seen it before. Uh, well, I was going to say a gamer after my own heart. Then I saw their name and I figured, mm, not so much. 
I gotta say though, when you take three swans and three swans work, what can you say, man? Now, here's where we get a little spicy, okay? Sell a horse, I think a cricket is a little better right now. Then run elephant in front of blowfish. If it shoots my otter, I don't really care. I guess you could set it up like this, but I'd honestly rather have them go at the start of the match so that maybe we could snipe something in the back. I like this. First, sell a cricket, buy a swan, buy a fish, buy a parrot. Now, this is not gonna... I mean, I expect that our parrot might die before it even gets to attack, but the... Oh, what the heck? Oh, we, we got priority. <laughs> I can't believe how well that worked. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. Um, I really would like to get a rabbit. I guess I would sell fish for rabbit if it showed up. Round six, straight up. I'm freezing two salads, man. I'm a, the respector of rabbit has logged on. I hate to say it. We're getting rid of these salads. We're getting rid of this fish. You always buy a turtle. You look for a pill, not garlic. Oh, you know what? You could probably garlic a, I guess a blowfish for now. It doesn't have to live to the late game. I'm looking for a pill. Two turtles. Now this creates an interesting dilemma. Three turtles and a blowfish. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Um, but this seems still pretty good. Certainly interesting. Horses. Horse me. Horse me. Get, kill that freaking horse, man. There you go. Wow. Okay, that hurts. That hurts. But you know what? I'm still loving this team. Now, this is very strange indeed. <laughs> People are very strange these days. I think I am open to losing this round. I hate that the, the melon armor is going to exist for our blowfish here, but I also accept it. People look at the things like they're like, oh, you're overriding garlic. It's fine. I'm not sweating the hurt trigger as much as I'm enjoying. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's not. We lost. <laughs> okay. Unfreeze me. Anyway, like, I don't know what happened. Roll me. Give me a pill. You're a piece, but a piece of the best order for now. Let's not override garlic. Okay. This is sensible. You go here. I think we're a little late for the rabbit. All right, believers, I'm going to be honest with you. This is a bit of a, it's a spicy one, but we got all the tools in place in order to in enjoy ourselves. The run enjoyer has logged on. That's beautiful. There you go. There's step one. That's helpful. That's helpful. Melon saved the parrot. Oh, do you mean that maybe like there's some times where you would still like to have a uh, melon on a unit even if it overrides like one of their effects? No, we should definitely put like the swan up here so it takes damage for absolutely no reason and then makes our parrot completely fucking useless. But well, we did lose anyway, so there is that. <laughs> All right, that time the doubters, look, the doubters gained some purchase there. What can you say? That's what you get for being overconfident, believers. Run it back. We honestly lost that game when the nightmare shop happened on like round four i mean that's just perfect hard bones when it was just like elephant duck elephant duck elephant duck pig over and over again like there was there was no shot we we got hit by a 
by a bout of quicksand. I do think the thing that has the most control... You're a piece of shit, quite frankly. Um, the thing that has the most control over the market, whether believers or doubters are, are going to win, is um, the quality of the meme in the shop. If we have no traction yet and we see, like, three hedgehogs show up, that's a, a, a bull flag for doubters, for sure, without a doubt. But we're not in... Okay, we're kind of at that level. Just give it a second, okay? Sell me. Sell me. We can't roll a hedgehog here. But you can roll a 2-4 otter for a turn. We can go up a level. This is nice. Okay, I know this doesn't really help us, but that's fine. You can add a sheep into the situation. Let's set it up like this for now. Wasted buffs. So true. Now there's a straight shooter with middle management written all over him. Okay. This squad is not there yet, but just give it a little bit. Just give it a little bit. That's better. That's better. We win these. We pill these. Not bad. We buy these. Not bad. We buy these. Fish. No, this is okay. Then we roll looking for better levels. Forget a cupcake. Ooh. Ooh. I don't even think that's like necessarily that good, but it's... We don't even need to have the third one frozen now that I think about it. <laughs> Unless we want to start building uh, one more. Holy cow, look at... Oh, no, it's... Just resin. Just a little resin. We still win. We full sent for no reason. But look at this this double level up. This is where you just hope to see a... Um, a bison. Okay. I mean, I gotta be honest. That's kind of sick, too. I'm gonna just roll... Well... <laughs> I was going to say I'm going to roll two roosters, but I guess we'll roll one for now, and then we'll freeze the other one. That's all right. We lost the, the, the opportunity cost of a 2-3 fish. Any uh, any askers in chat? No, this is... A, it's okay, actually, because it's... Oh, the hippo's going to body us, but if you lose this run, it's actually good copium, because then all we need is three snails to show up in the shop. And all of a sudden, pretty much all bad. We need a scaler. We're getting a little too into meme technology. That being said, let's meme it up just a little bit. You could roll two sheep because they spawn more units than the rooster. That otter has to be replaced. It's got to be something better. That's that's her terrible news for us. <laughs> that wait, the parrot is a camel too. It's the strongest giraffe I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Now we're on lethal. That's bad. Get sold. Get bought. This is a bit of a hail mary here. This is, I, I believe in this so thoroughly, so thoroughly. I even do it now. I'm so meta, even this acronym. Now, with God as my witness, I think you just send a pig out there. That way we can sell it back next turn. I would like to issue a notice, and the notice is very simple. It's that um, garlic should be illegal. <laughs> should be illegal. We will pay out the doubters again, and then we'll run it back. Okay, no more of this turn three double duck, but you need to buy it just to have a full squad. 
I tried you. I get off. Get, I mean, get out of here. I don't want to see any more horses. Instead, I'm going to be a suspicious herb. Like, is it is it cilantro? Is it Italian parsley? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. This is a loss, but that's okay. Early rounds, we don't sweat at all. Now give me good shops. Now we're talking. Now we're freaking talking. Freeze me. So true. Just remember, you got to keep it zuzzy. This is the perfect penguin build right now. Now it's a long way until the penguin can even possibly show up. But this is the dream penguin build. Possibly early two level twos, add a penguin. We got a plan. Buff me. It's like right on the borderline of being acceptable. So for now, no. Mm. Some wasted buffs incoming. So you know what? For now, just give me a flamingo just to make my life a little bit feel a little bit simpler. I will freeze an ox here. This is a this is a nasty team, man. This is a nasty team. So is the other team. I th yeah, this is... Actually, it's lost territory because of the bee. Very clever. Wow, honey on a hedgehog. For when you want to play honey badger, but money's just a little too tight. Give me one of these. This, this squad, I'm still not sweating it. Because, like... The ox itself will probably kill everybody on their team that the beaver doesn't. Prepare yourself. Okay, I just saw that they have quite a lot of meat. Mm, unfortunately, meat's not so good against melon. Here we go. You, oh, I mean, this is a gimme. You sell me, you buy me. Now we have a scaler. You'll take garlic for now. We are looking for a pill. No pill? Sure, I'll take a level three beaver. Give me a penguin. No penguin, but a whale. Sell my fish, buy a kangaroo, and starting now, it's January 1st. New Year's resolution, we're only buying salads. No more sandwiches. This is salad territory. I gotta admit, this team's pretty good. You got me on this one. With shrimp scampi, I have nothing but respect. Now, foods. Good foods, ideally. Pill me. In front of the ox, you fool. In front of the ox. Take a second, ox. Come buy me. Buy me. Sorry, this makes up for a lack of food. You ever eat bison IRL? Yeah, I think so. I've had some of the, the so-called strange foods. Strange meats. I've eaten the horse tartare under the Tannhauser Gate. Nothing here appeals to me. Roll me. That's an insult and a half. Sell me. Buy me. Roll me. This is not a good penguin. But above all else, I believe. Like Morpheus. It's, we're one away from it being slightly better. <laughs> we're getting so lucky that we're not losing our... Well, I guess it doesn't matter if we lose our melon armor on the ox now that I think about it. I believe that our penguin will be better than our bison. I know how the, the community will react to that. but I believe. Now, that belief has not been rewarded yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, what kind of copium can I spin up here? In some ways, it's better to get a 1-1 one, one on your best unit than it is to get a 3-3 three, three on a unit that kind of sucks. Plus, we're winning. Don't care, didn't ask. Salad me? It's too late for salad. Try to keep up. We're on round nine. Salad exists only from turn five until turn seven. Okay, now you're gonna give me one of these. You're gonna give me one of these. Then you go pairs. Then you roll. 
So the thing that screws us most, without a doubt, is a scorpion. But for right now, for all the belly aching, we're on an incredible run here. That is good for penguin buffing. That is just good. Well, well, well. I honestly think the real play is a level two skunk. Now, can I tell you, I'm getting a little nervous that there's going to be a scorpion now. So I'm going to engage some skunk anti-scorpion technology. It would have been better the other way. But you know what? It is what it is. Ooh, that, that hurts me. Order mattering, that hurts me. But, skunk me. Stick to the plan. Penguin got there. Roll me. Pair me. We're not going for a level 3 rabbit. You just stick to the plan. Holy crap, the, the skunk killed the hippo. Thank you, skunk. Still a bit of a scary team, honestly. Oh, never mind. Believers win. Yeah, but imagine that you would have won if you had a bison. Now, stronger unit comes up to the front. Take some melon. Honestly, take a little more juice. I'll salad here. I know I said, look, only a Sith deals in absolutes, especially with respect to salads. Ooh, nice scorpion. That's why you stick to the plan. We don't chase returns around here, you Kathy Wood mother. Okay, chill out. Calm down. We're going to calm down a little bit. The plan worked. That's seven wins. Easy pair. We're trying to get you over 30 HP. Honestly, give me one of these. Not an apple. That's a joke. Always, though, we always look to some chocolate. And we'd probably say that a skunk is still our best play here when we're one away from lethal. Two one away from lethal? Two away from lethal? Him, me. Him, him, me. What a team. What an interesting little build you got going on here. Skunk me. We don't care for um, a level 3 rabbit right now. Even on 6 gold, I look for sushi instead of salad. Still don't care for the rabbit. It's too late to build it. Now, this is unfortunate. But does it get us over 30? This means that we probably trade with a 50-50 unit now. I love, I love it when a plan comes together. Tiger Snake? How's November 2021? You're only winning because of the skunk? Oh no, well anyway. Um, sure, it's enough, it's enough HP to feel pretty positive about. You're going to be over 30 HP anyway. Let's get you closing in on over 30 HP with the penguin. Mm. Well, well, well. It's not great necessarily, but it's not that bad. 50-50 badger. Oh no, our badger. It's broken. Welcome to the Hall of Fame, by the way. Easiest win of my life. Oh, man. Especially after two doubter wins. That one feels good. That one felt good. The rabbit ate 150 damage to the face. Look, if there's anything I'm proud of that time, it's after we moved the skunk to the front and it failed us. Still sticking to the plan because we knew it was the right thing to do in practice. Or in principle, I should say. You know, sometimes you go all in with pocket aces. Your opponent's got a 210. They call you. Be the 
tropical swimmers. And then, uh, you know, you look at the flop and it's 10, 10, 2. You're like, what are you supposed to do? Can't you lose this one? That's okay. That's the play. Yeah, the, the classic little Doyle Brunson, exactly. Love the poker references. I, I'm a noted poker aficionado. I'm great at poker. I've, honestly, can I tell you something? I've never lost. I've ne not never lost a game. I've never lost a damn hand. I don't know what it feels like. You know why? Because I exclusively fold anytime I'm asked to uh, to do anything but check. So I've actually never gotten to the part where you resolve your hand to see who has the better setup. It's early enough that I, I respect it. Now, B at the front is a little unusual. You know what? Let's Let's try something a little... A little clever here. Stats are still king. I still embrace these stats. <clears throat> Folding is losing. Don't think so. I have to. I'd have to check the rule book on that one, but I, I think you're mistaken. We win these. I'll take you up a level. It's interesting, the camel. Look, this team is way too precious. I think it's very important that we don't overcommit. Because <laughs> we got like a the world's worst beaver sandwich here. I think you got to respect that the camel is actually something that you only use for a bit. And then you sell it. Don't go all in on the camel unless we get like a rabbit that can really pop. Because instead of a camel, we could sell the camel, turtle, pill the turtle, and then we've got a, a, a beaver with a lot of attack, thanks to the dodo and melon armor, which is like way better. It's early enough we could, we could make a worm work. And you know what? I think we will. I don't think we invest in our mosquito anymore. I think we just go straight into making a worm pop. We can only feed it one food. So let's uh, sell me, buy me, feed me. I mean, honestly, it's just that easy. Now, that, that's a relatively seamless pivot for us right there. I'm not saying that this we're going to win this round, but we got great traction for the future now. We will lose this round. And that's okay. Worm rabbit's a good spot, especially if we get some more targeted foods. I'm going to be honest, I, I think you go all in. And we go, when I go all in, I go all in. Let's go! <laughs> oh, baby. Two in a row? Okay, well that was wishful thinking. But man, oh man. Huh. Save an apple for sure. <clears throat> Weirdly enough, I feel like we might want to start feeding some stats to our to our dodo. Like our dodo is actually our best unit right now, or uh, to our worm because our dodo is our best unit. But then we, I don't want to have dodo at the front. Maybe you could have a dodo that feeds a rabbit, the giraffe, because this is gonna top out. It's already giving twenty. No, it's giving 10. Okay, never mind. That was stupid. I shouldn't have even suggested that. But we definitely roll. This is kind of insane. I, I want melon armor eventually, but in a pre-scorpion world, it's hard to imagine that a 21-17 uh, a garlic worm loses many rounds. Case in point. Yeah, sure. That's pretty good. <laughs> We're still pre... I tried to freeze an animal I was holding. Uh, oh, you shouldn't have. Um, we're still pre-Scorpion, I think, barring a disaster. I'm not a big fan of the Dodo chain. Now, that's I'm not saying it can't work, 
But now that the Dodo at level 1 actually only provides 50% of its attack, the way you chain is you want your... I guess you will want your weakest Dodo to feed your strongest Dodo, but it's only gonna feed, like, two extra attack into it. Like, I don't think it's worth it right now. Oh, we're already at the Believer Threshold. Holy cow. Definitely we take a skunk. We can sell this giraffe at any time. That's the beauty of a giraffe that remains relatively unbuffed. Still good enough, I think. We already have, like, our, our ultimate unit. We actually, believe it or not, I think we don't need a monkey. The worm's gonna get there on its own, right? Especially once it gets to level 2. I just don't think we... I think we could get something better. Skunk. Good idea. I gotta admit, it's a good idea. That's why I got one, too. Quick little feed me. Quick little feed me. Now, we genuinely don't need the monkey, but we could. We The snake behind the worm is not the right play because we lose a lot of the attack from the dodo. The snake behind the dodo might be the right play, but I'm a little skeptical. So I know I said we don't need a monkey, but I think you could go monkey skunk me. And try to build one more unit. We don't need another worm, honestly. We're, we're tapping out there. It's basically 50-50 because of the dodo buff. And we're looking... At this point, we're looking for melon armor. It's, a, it's still a scary team, honestly. I mean, we win these. <laughs> it's a bit of a scary team. Obviously sushi. This is this is swanless. A swanless build. You don't see that too much in the modern era. You're you're basically maxed. So I don't even think we should buy a pair for you. The monkey's already getting you there. Now this is a bold play. I think we're gonna get more melon though. And I think that our next melon may go to the skunk. So I'm instantly vindicated temporarily because we would have lost Melon on the Worm regardless. What can I say? I played a little bit of this game in my day. Believe it or not, I think our next Melon goes here. I'm looking for, for Sushi. You could stake Monkey, but... I'm, I'm in danger at that point of falling asleep. This is a good spot. He can't keep getting away with it? Oh, contraire. I think we can keep getting away with it, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, 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 you didn't say the magic word. Take cat over rabbit? Listen, you mobile viewer! We already got 10 wins! You're arguing that I should have taken heads on a coin toss that just came up tails. You don't even know! You, got, you haven't flipped your calendar around since 2021. You think you're living in the past. Pay out the believers on that one. <clears throat> Hydrate a little. We could probably squeeze in one more. We could probably squeeze in one more. It's irresponsible because we really should finish not for broadcast today, and I don't know how much time is left. But I mean, we just had 10 wins. You gotta, you gotta squeeze in one more. I'm not gonna be greedy. Give me a 3-3. Three, three. Give me a 4-4. Four, four. And we'll put a 2-3 at the front for anti-ant technology. If only this was smooth heads. I guess we do have kind of an iconic head, for better or worse. My anti-ant meta did not work. I think ants are falling off a little bit. With the rise of mosquitoes... It's a bit unusual, but this is our long-term play, I think. 
I think that I think that ants are not as popular in the meta. Okay, this is a guaranteed loss. <laughs> I think ants are not as popular in the meta as they used to be. Mosquitoes and and running weak units at the front has has compromised them slightly. What a team, man. Okay, so, um, start here. Possibly. I just want a big beaver. Anybody else? Give me a honey badger temporarily. Now this is like, it's a three squad Marty, but this is not three squad that I feel bad about, honestly. Like we may lose this round, it happens, but like, it's also just pretty strong. <laughs> so that's a, believers should not be upset that we, they're, we're on a meme build, because this is not really a meme build. This is just, this is just the way. Now, for now, I actually think... Let's not get too greedy. Let's roll one ant because it's a good pill target, and then Honey Badger helps us out. It's If you're rolling a badger, three gold for Honey is probably the best gold you're ever gonna spend in your life. Like, why be greedy with it? Just be smart with it instead. It's good. It's good. Roll me. No pill. That's okay. We say that's okay. Give me a level three beaver into a bison. Okay, honestly, no, no, no. We're going to get turtles, so don't sweat this. We're going to get turtles. I like turtles. Has one statement ever united the nation like that before? I like turtles. With these three words, a charming young man in the American Midwest brought a nation once divided together again. I don't know, it just sort of popped into my head. I was a little nervous, so I just said the first thing I thought of, which was, I like toitles. And then it, he's wearing a shirt that says, I like toitles. He's got a song on uh, Spotify. It's the number six song on Spotify this month. I like toitles. He's, he's minting toitles NFTs. This is if, if I like toitles had happened in 2022 instead of in uh, 2000, I don't know, 2005 maybe. I love it. Okay, double salad, too. I mean, we're going straight on... Like, four squad Marty. We've been four squatted, like, all the live long day. Never punished? Oregon is in the Midwest. It's in the middle of the West Coast. In many ways. We don't need a worm. I'm gonna be honest, like, Honey Badger genuinely, like, is a scumbag move. <laughs> like, I don't feel good when I win with a Honey Badger, cause it's literally just like, it's broken, man. Oops, I won. <laughs> Oh, man. It's called Order of Operations, sweetheart. Look it up. Dino, won't you blow? Dino, won't you blow your horn? Dino, won't you blow? Dino, won't you blow? This is the main situation in which it doesn't feel fair. Well, how's that fair? I had an awesome unit. It just got his ass beat by, like, a, a single piece of garbage. This is of the utmost importance. Buy me? Sell me. Buy me? Feed me? Freeze me? Pill. Pill me. We don't need another. We don't need another badger. I'm looking for a pill. Man's lost his mind. I've been singing, oh, my melon armor, it's broken. I've been singing a lot of children's songs lately as a result of Sesame Street. This is not a throw, honestly. We're playing against good teams and we're one item in the shop, a pill that is, 
away from greatness. And if it doesn't show, then it doesn't show. Give me the 2-2. Two -two. Sell me. Eight. Eight gold. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. Skunk me. Fuck it. Buff rabbit. Best melon armor protection? Having all of your units be 50-50. I mean, best scorpion protection. You're a piece. Bit of a piece. We win these. Not true, but true. You watched. That's all you could do. Thank you. Melon me? You're going 6-6. Six, six. You're going to be over 30. I know what that feels like. You take a little bit of extra support so you can be over 30 next time. Thank you, Skunk. That's still we lose. <laughs> That's the, the power of one strong unit. Holy cow. Either way, I'm telling you, six wins. I'm never going to be mad about the Believers winning. But we get to 10 if we actually find a pill for that turtle early.